had an idea. I'm gonna go ahead and make another like clay incense holder. The first one was nice, but it was my first attempt. And it wasn't, it wasn't everything. It wasn't giving what it was supposed to give all the way. So we're gonna attempt two. This time, disclaimer, I'm not gonna say that I do any kind of anything. Any kind of anything, I don't do nothing. It would be cool to have a, a something something being rolled but it's like in the middle of being rolled and some of the something something else is falling out of it you'll see when we get there you'll see and then he can be smoking of some he can yeah yeah <laughs> i don't know how i'm gonna record this video i don't know what angles i'm gonna be able to create here so bear with me and I don't know how long it's gonna take to dry, so how long it's gonna take for me to like actually finish. So bear with me. But let's get it. Let's get it started. I still had a half a package with my other air dry clay, but it was open when I went to go get it, so it was hard and I was like, I have like a little cup of water next to me. Oh. Hearts. What in the hell? I should be happy it's so damn solid, huh? I feel like I'm probably gonna need like this whole thing to be honest. Yeah, we're gonna have to angle you down because I need a, I need a pound on it. First thing I needed to do was establish like a base. I didn't want it to be too thick or too thin. I was having a little bit of a hard time making a flat base. That perfume bottle didn't do shit. They didn't end up using it. Um, I kind of started using this like scraping, scratching method. It actually ended up working pretty well for me. I would just scrape it up where I needed to, place it in other parts, and use water to kind of mix them together, and that worked for me. That painting board is made from wood. I had to switch over to a metal surface and redo it, but it was fine. I ended up rolling over the edges and like flatten it out to kind of make like a square that worked for me. Didn't know what I was doing. You can see like the leftover residue from the muff. Ooh, but it was fine because I was going to paint over it anyway. So whatever. I used a big chunk of clay to have something to fold the flaps onto. I ended up having to take a little bit of the chunks off and kind of smoothing it out or rolling it out with my fingers. I actually ended up having to add a lot more clay onto the inside in order to actually make it like stable. I kept having to add more clay on top of the flaps because they were too thin for them to like stick up on their own and they just didn't look right. I tried to use my fingernail to claw into the clay and make it easier for the clay to like stick and glue, like adhere itself onto the motherfucking thing. I kept putting water over top of stuff and it really wasn't helping me. I don't know why I kept doing that. And then I was using my finger for stuff. In a minute, you'll see me whip out a pencil trying to use that to shape stuff up. It was just, it was a rough experience, but it was a fun experience. I just use that same method for all around the edges to just make like a rift like to make a upper angle on the edge so that it wouldn't like the ashes wouldn't escape i needed to adjust the flaps more because they just didn't really look right to me like they didn't look like blunt flaps they just look like flat flaps and that wasn't cute so i went ahead and added more clay and kind of made them like foldy 
Then I went in and added in some arms. I tried to carve out like a hole and then attach like a little just lump of clay onto it. It needed some stability so I added my air pod as well. Then just made the other arm. I folded his arms back so that he could support himself. Used that same kind of carve out the eye method um, to make the eyeballs. I used my fingernail for a little bit to try and make the eye lid. Didn't work so then I started using like the paint lid. That helped. So you see me just making his face here. And then I went back in to edit the fold more because the folds just wasn't looking cute. Then I added in the lips, just like a big chunk of clay where it should be, flattened out the top and used the paintbrush to poke holes around the edges to make the shape of the lips and then used my fingernail to smooth it out. Then I went in and just made like some lumps of clay, made some indents with my fingernail and put the clay onto the incense holder in like lumpy kind of patterns. Then you see me kind of go in and just kind of clump them together to where it looks like it's just, you know what, spaced out all over an ashtray. Then I use my fingernail to just chop, 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 like cut it up and just make it like really lumpy kind of looking. It took me a long time to do this just because I don't know why I wanted it to look so perfect. Still didn't even come out looking perfect, so I don't know why it took so long doing that, but I did, and yeah. We're gonna come to the chase. We just need to get this hope painted. So, this is what it's looking like. I'm not gonna lie, it was stuck on the metal. Like I made it on here, it was stuck. Um. But we got it off, and that's what matters. So I went in with Doo Doo Brown originally. This is a very dark brown, and I do lighten it in the end, so stick with me. But some Doo Doo Brown and the baking soda or baking powder just to create a like rough texture over the top of it i spread that all over and if it was too glossy i went in with just the baking powder and dusted it on top so that every texture on it matched evenly did the same thing with the bottom just to make sure that like all the textures matched filled in the cracks in between the the dust particles then I went in with just dark green. The screen is also way too dark and I ended up lighting it up just a little bit in the end. This part took forever because there were so many cracks and crevices because my stupid self went ahead and just made all that. So I had to make sure there weren't just like a bunch of white polka dots all over it and just fill it in completely. I did this forever. You don't see it, but it took me forever. But I did the same thing with the top and just moved on. I made the lips and eyelids darker and I think it also made it look like doo-doo, but I change it later. This is what we have right now. And I just want him to be lighter. And that's what we're gonna do. So I went in with a lighter brown. This brown does look a lot more orangey and it is more orangey, but just the lighting that I was in makes it look 10 times more orangey. It just, it's a light brown. I filled that out using the same method with like the baking powder and the baking soda. That green was way too green, but I wanted to lighten up the greens because it was looking like doo-doo. So I also made the lips like a little pink, you know? I was like at this point, like why make the lips dark brown? Um, and I also had to go buy white paint so that I could make pink. And then I wanted to like flush him out because you know you'd be coughing and stuff like that. So I made like, I instead of making the eyes and stuff brown like I did last time and make it look like doo-doo, I went in with like a pink and kind of flushed him up and made him look like he'd been coughing or like he's blushing, you know, just flushed in the face. Added that around like, you know, the top of his forehead, the edge of his, his flaps. Um, I tried to add some purple into the green 
didn't work too much I'm not gonna lie it didn't work too much and it actually darkened up a lot of it and but it was fine it was fine and I messed up right there so I had to correct it but that was fine too added in the pupils wanted them to be kind of a little bit big but not too big so I did that 